Today is March 24th. No, 26. I'm sorry. Today is March 26th, 2013. Um, this is a litter of 13 AKC registered standard poodles. They were born on March 4th, 2013. Uh, no DOAs and praise God everybody's hung in there since birthday and uh, mom is doing great mom is our AKC registered brindle party factor uh, at standard poodle Dixie she is a gorgeous gorgeous silver brindle and uh, dad of course is our uh, silver and white brindle standard poodle AKC registered standard poodle Jack uh, Jack is known well. He's been with us for quite a while since he was five months old. I believe he turns five this year. I'll have to check his birth date. And uh, But he's been with us for quite a while. Has quite a history of wonderful, wonderful, beautiful puppies as well as well-tempered puppies. Jack's about 50 pounds. Uh, Porky, I mean, excuse me, not Porky. Uh, Dixie is about 45 pounds. Um, although Jack has been well known for producing offspring a little bit bigger than he is. Uh, I don't expect these puppies, even the males, to mature much past 60 pounds at the most, but you ne one never knows. Um, this is a wonderful litter. I'm actually getting ready, even though moms are outside a little bit impatient right now. They're going to have to hang in there. I'm um, getting ready to introduce them to their first uh, solid food. want to start them a little bit early because there are so many puppies and the bigger they get there's only so much milk mom can produce. Uh, their weight gain isn't as quick as I would like it to be um, so we're going to kind of try to introduce them to a little bit of puppy mush today. See how they do. And But meanwhile I'd like to introduce each one of the puppies now. Out of these 13 puppies, we had five girls and eight boys. All the girls are spoken for and two of the boys are spoken for. So we have six boys left and I'll be sure to point them out as uh, I go through them individually. So bear with me. I will have to use a cheat sheet. This is a lot of puppies and a lot of names. The ID names that I have given them are strictly ID names for the litter and oftentimes they are changed by the, uh, the new families when they go home. Okay, so anyway, let's start off with this young man right here that's right here in the front. Um, this is our dark blue. This is Kramer. Now, Kramer has been spoken for, and uh, so there you can kind of get an idea. I believe Kramer is going, I believe Kramer is the one that's going to California with one of our Labradoodles. Okay, there's his beautiful markings. He's a nice apricot and white party. Right behind him is my personal favorite in this litter. He is so in tune with everything. He's been focused with me. Um, it just seems to be ahead of everybody uh, socially. Of course, they'll all catch up, but I just love this guy. He's had my heart since he popped out. I love his little elbow pads that he has. His markings are beautiful. If I had room to keep another boy right now, this guy would stay here because I do desire to keep a boy, a son of Jack's, one day to carry on his legacy. We're just not prepared in our program right now, but oh my goodness, whoever gets this little boy, I'm going to be so envious. He is a beautiful silver, so excuse me, party sable brindle. I believe there is a few little stripes in there. He's probably going to silver quite a bit when he gets older. Um, he'll keep some black around, you know, some of the dark around his points, around his ears and his face. Um, and the base of his tail. You can see his tail is kind of tricolored right now, and I do expect that darker color to kind of uh, stay there on his tail. Look at him. I mean, he is just, he's, I think he's begging for me just to keep him, but I can't. I know, baby, I love you. He is so cute. Anyway, this is the guy Hayden. I'm so excited about <laughs> showing him. I forgot to tell you what his ID name is, but his name is Hayden. Okay, um, this beautiful little girl right here is the one that we call Chosina. Okay, she's also a, a real pretty apricot and white. You can see her markings on her face, and she has a couple of lighter markings on her body. All right, now these puppies just turned three weeks old yesterday. Hello, baby, look at those beautiful eyes. All right, now this is the guy Winslow. Now he is actually still available. He's our beautiful uh, sable brindle. So this is Winslow and he is still available and unspoken for. Caught a lot of um, attention, but no one has claimed him. Again, these are all AKC registered. Uh, they um, come with limited AKC registration unless prior arrangements are made and additional fees are agreed to with uh, regard to breeding rights. Uh, so please contact us. You can email us at lpdk10608 at gmail.com. This is Law Padoodle Kennel, 
L-A-W-P-D-O-O-D-L-E, kennel, K-E-N-N-E-L.com. So you can find us on our website for more information about this litter, pictures of the parents, their history. Uh, this is their second litter together. They had a beautiful litter for us last spring a year ago. And this is their second litter for us. Went from six puppies up to 13 puppies. <laughs> so they um, had quite a few more puppies, obviously, for us this year. I'm not a big fan of these large litters, but I have been very pleased with how well Dixie has done with this. All right, onward we go. This one is Royce. He is a beautiful sable. He will lighten quite a bit as he gets older. He's also unspoken for. So Royce is available. He's one of our boys available. All right, this little girl, she's the smallest one in the litter and she's actually gonna be staying with us. Okay, this is the little girl we call Trista. And we've got a boy in our program in mind for her. Of course, that'll be a couple of years down the road, but she's gonna be growing up with us. She's won my heart as well. And she is kind of a solid cream. I don't really see any party markings. Of course, she would be considered party factored. She carries those genetics bred to a party probably would produce parties but it's not a party we have in mind for her um, so check with us in a year and a half two years and we may have some updates on Trista's progress and uh, what we have in store for her future in our program they will be standard poodles um, her future with us is for standard poodles only okay let's see who do we have here um, this is our brindle girl, Evie. Okay, there's little Miss Evie. She's a dark face. Yep. And she's kind of a sable as well, but she's got the uh, typical markings. She's gonna lighten quite a bit and probably silver a good bit. She may keep some of the um, brown and tannish uh, colors. I've seen them in adults that have had her coloring at, pup at young puppies and they are just really fascinating. Okay. Um, that's Winslow making his way. See, they're starting to walk around. This is when I really like to see. He's got to think. He's got to go potty. We'll give him a little privacy. We'll give him a little privacy. All right. I have two of them that look alike. This is Woody. He's our uh, sable party, and he looks very much like his sister Della. Now Woody is still available, so he's one of our um, six boys that are available, and he will lighten quite a bit, but he'll keep the dark around his face and. Uh, the base of his tail as well, around his ears, very, very cute. Um, but he will he will show his spots, they just won't be quite as dark as they are now as he gets older. Okay, I just want to be sure that everybody understands that. Very, very fascinating in their colors now, equally fascinating, I think, even as they get older, but they do change quite a bit. All right, and I believe this is Ellington. He's a sable party tuxedo, and he is still available as well. Okay, so there is Ellington. There's his face. All right. Come here, Miss Maisie. I know your mommy's looking to see you. This is Maisie, and it's amazing her color. It's, you can see the big patches of um, very light apricot or dark cream uh, against the white. And she is, there's her face, and you can see the white running up, the white blaze running up her face. Um, she's also one of our biggest puppies, like Miss Piggy. Yeah, I think you keep knocking my girl out and taking her milk. Yep, wait, let's watch her beat you to the food bowl, huh? Yeah, so say hi to your mommy. She's going to Colorado along with her sister, and if I can find her sister somewhere in here. Yeah, that's Woody. There's her sister. All right, this is the one we call Della. Now, they've both been renamed. I know this one's going to be Lulu. I can't remember. I'm sorry, Jody. I can't remember what you were going to call Maisie. Um, I will <laughs> I'll try to get, get all these names memorized as time goes on. This is their first video. This is their first video debut. Okay, so there is Miss Della, and there are all her markings. And she's also a sable party. She will lighten a good bit but um, in these markings in here, but they will still be quite distinctive even as she gets older. And of course, she'll maintain some of the dark around her face and the base of her tail as well. See, she has like a kind of tricolor tail. We made sure that we kept the little white tips on their tails when we did the docking. Of course, we always keep two thirds of the tail, as they say is uh, typical for show length. All right. Um, let's see, I know I've missed somebody. Let's see, where's Mr. Furman? I know your mommy wants to see you. There he is. 
Okay, I believe that's, yeah, and he had a dark green collar, but I can't find my uh, ball of dark green yarn, so I put the light green on him. But this is Furman. He's our other cream boy. He is also a party. You can see his markings in there. At least I can through the viewfinder, so hopefully they'll show up on the um, camera as well. All right, so there is Mr. Furman, and he's going to a very, very special couple. They tragically lost their older poodle, um not long ago i think sometime last year and it's been very very hard for them so we're hoping that Furman brings them new joy and new memories of course any of our previous uh pets that have gone on um and left us we they can never be replaced um but new love can always bring us new joys and new memories and honor those that have left before us so there is mr Furman, and i'm sure his name will probably change actually i think they're going to name him maybe after their other poodle. All right, um, let's see, I believe this is Grady. He is our other dark brindle, solid brindle, again party factored, and he'll probably look a lot like his mommy, maybe a little bit darker, Miss Dixie, and I've got some pictures of her with a longer coat as well as a shorter coat. When their coat is cut very short, that's when their stripes really show and their markings and colors, so. But of course, some people do like to keep a little bit of a thicker coat on their poodles. And, uh, all right, let's see. Why do I feel like I've lost, I missed somebody? All right, let's see. Who's buried down in here? Um, that was Ellington, and that was Winslow, and Woody, and Hayden, and Trista, and, um, Josina, and Maisie. There's Josina and Maisie next to each other. Okay, and all right, this is the one Kramer. He's the one going to California. And there is Furman. There are two cream boys, and there's Grady. All right, so I don't think we've missed anybody. And of course, Woody was down there somewhere. I believe this is Mr. Woody. He's the one that he always fools me because he and uh, his sister Della, or Della now Lulu, are very much almost like twins. Their facial markings are a little bit different, but um, they look so much alike. Their coloring is very similar as there are their markings. So this is our very fascinating tricolor litter of AKC registered standard poodles, once again, born on uh, March 4th, 2013. We only have six boys remaining. And if you go to our website, you can uh, see the individual pictures, which we try to update weekly for you. And we'll touch back with uh, another video as they get older and start playing around a little bit more and showing more of their personality. Um, and uh, so we'll try to keep regular updates. So if you check our website on our homepage, there's a link there that says Standard Poodles. That'll take you directly to their page. Uh, information about the parents and their uh, genetic testing. Um, if you'd like a copy of our 26-month genetic uh, health guarantee, just email us once again at lpdk10608 at gmail.com. We'll be glad to send that along to you. We are located in Lost Creek, West Virginia. We are experienced shippers. Uh, do offer delivery to certain areas in Maryland and parts of West Virginia, as well as Pittsburgh where we always fly our puppies from um, and so we can also offer delivery to that area but we always welcome people to stop by here as well and see our puppies meet the parents um, see how your puppy is raised so uh, never hesitate to get in touch with us and set up an appointment to visit with us as well so we thank you very much for viewing our puppies and may God bless you